What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement slash platinum trophy walkthrough for Sable Grimoire. This game is published by Gamyazumi, and it's developed by Zetsubo Games, and you can pick the game up on June 10th, and I'm not sure how much the game will cost just yet, but I'll have the price down in the description below. So this is a visual novel, and following along with this video, you should get your full completion in about 25 minutes or less. So before you start the game, you want to go into the options, and change your skip behavior to all text. And then for the after choices, you want to keep skipping. And then for the mature content, you want that enabled. And then for the uh, bad ending hints, you can go ahead and enable that as well. And then for your uh, text speed, as well as your auto forward time, you wanna set that to the right all the way to the uh, maximum. And then from there, you can press return and go ahead and start up the game. And then you can go ahead and press RB and X to uh, start skipping through the uh, dialogue and everything. And then for the uh, first choice, we're going to choose choice number one, it isn't broken. And next up, we're going to choose choice number one, which is make something up. Choice number one, grab the beast's attention and act as bait. All right, and before we make a choice here, we're gonna press Y or triangle and make a save in slot number one. And then from there, you can return and choose choice number one, pair with Draken. Choice number one, cafeteria. Choice number one, that isn't my only punishment. Choice number one, except. Choice number one, since scape. Choice number three, only for extremely powerful spells. Choice number three, again, not all female only species. Choice number three, learn about Demi Human Social Studies, and you also should have unlocked the nerd achievement. Choice number one, maybe once this bangle has been removed. Choice number one, help Leisha to search for the coin. Choice number one, grab something quick. Choice number one, search via terminal. Choice number one, observe the ether flowing around it. Choice number two, check the dungeon. Choice number one, confront Iris. Choice number one, walk straight up to them. Choice number one, ex er, something brand new and flashy. And then choice number one, accept the principal's proposal. And that should unlock you the... Uh, no longer a student achievement. And then uh, next up, before we make a decision here, we're going to save in slot number two. And then we're going to choose choice number two, invite Draken to join the hunt. Choice number one, humans are arrogant and prideful. Choice number one, answer honestly. Choice number one, defend Iris. Choice number one, do as Leisha says.
Choice number one, I'll think about it. Choice number one, I was responsible for tracking. And right here, before we uh, make a choice, we're going to make another save in slot number three. And then we're going to choose choice number one, eat with Draken. And that should unlock you the indirect kiss achievement slash trophy. And next up, we're going to make another save. And we're going to save in slot number four. And then we're going to choose choice number one, combine my knowledge with Draken's raw power. Choice number one, remove the magical artifact from my wrist, and that should unlock you the unrestrained power achievement slash trophy. Choice number one, ask her. Choice number one, ask Ray. And then choice number one, I am your friend, and that should unlock you the best friend achievement. All right, and next up, we're going to make a save in slot number five, and then we're going to choose choice number two, I don't want to stop seeing Draken. Again, that's choice number two, I don't want to stop seeing Draken. Choice number one. Examine the residual ether one more time and that should unlock you the novice teleporter achievement And then from there you can just uh, press continue on the bottom right and that should uh, unlock you the dragon harem achievement as well as the draken heart achievement And once you've unlocked those two achievements, you can go ahead and press pause and load save number five And we're going to choose choice number one, I just want a normal life, and that's going to unlock you the father of many achievement. And then from there, you can pause and load save number four. And we're going to choose choice number two, the police can handle this themselves, and that will unlock you the crime always pays achievement slash trophy. And then from there, you can go ahead and load up save number four again. And this time, we're going to choose choice number one, combine my knowledge with Draken's raw power. And then we're going to choose choice number one, remove the magical artifact. Choice number one, ask her. Choice number one, ask Ray, or whatever that word is. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, next up, we're going to choose choice number two, friends are overrated anyway, and that's going to unlock you the a better place achievement. And then from there, you can go ahead and load up save number three. And then we're going to choose choice number two, pick up Leisha and Narm. Choice number one, show Ray the meaning of romance, and that's going to unlock you the Casanova achievement slash trophy.
All right, and before we make a choice here, we're gonna go ahead and save in slot number six. And then we're gonna choose choice number one, disrupt the spell. And that's gonna unlock you the survivor achievement as well as the history of man and elf achievement. Choice number two, I'll put Leisha in a trance instead. And that's going to unlock you the truth achievement as well as Leisha heart achievement. And then from there, you can just press uh, continue and then load up save number six. And this time we're going to choose choice number two, take on the dark elf alone. And that should unlock you the rooted achievement slash trophy. And then from there, go ahead and load up save number six again. And this time we're going to choose choice number three, run away, and that's going to unlock you the starvation achievement. And then from there, you can go ahead and load up save number one. Choice number two, pair with ticks. Choice number one, cafeteria. Choice number one, that isn't my only punishment. Choice number two, decline. Choice number three, learn about demi human social studies. Choice number one, maybe once this bangle has been removed. Choice number one, help Leisha to search for the coin. Choice number one, grab something quick. Choice number one, search via terminal. Choice number one, observe the ether. Choice number one, order something easy. Choice number one, confront Iris. Choice number two, walk straight up to them. Choice number one, something brand new and flashy. Choice number two, remain a normal first year student and that's going to unlock you the rock on achievement choice number one stay put choice number one humans are arrogant and prideful choice number one answer honestly Choice number one, defend Iris. Choice number two, talk to classmates. Alright, and next up we're actually going to make a save in slot number 7, and then we're going to choose choice number 1, go with ticks. Choice number one, ask Leisha, and that should unlock you the drill instructor achievement.
And then next up, before we make a choice here, we're actually going to save in slot number eight. And then we're going to choose choice number one, stop ticks from leaving. Choice number one, play tough. Choice number one, suggest lying, and that should unlock you the beta male achievement as well as Sable's travels. And then also the Tick's Heart Achievement. Make sure you press continue and then you can load up save number eight. And then from there, we're going to choose choice number one, let her go. And that's going to unlock you the separate ways achievement. And then from there, we're going to load up save number seven. And then we're going to choose choice number two, wait for ETH and Ray to finish class. I honestly don't know how to pronounce either of those names, but that's going to unlock you the sexy achievement as well as the twister achievement and then the Sable Sensei achievement. Choice number one, keep being yourself, but tone it down. And that should unlock you the camping achievement as well as the human like me achievement. Choice number two, find ETH. And next up, we're going to make a save in slot number nine. And this time we're going to choose choice number two, go find Ray. And that's going to unlock you the new life achievement. And then from there, you can reload save number nine. So again, press continue there. And then once you get the achievement, load save number nine. And then this time we're going to choose... Choice number one, stay with ETH, and that's going to unlock you the ETH heart achievement. And then uh, once you get that achievement, you can go ahead and load up save number two. You'll uh, have to press continue to get it to pop, but then from there, load up save number two. And this time, we're going to choose choice number one, recommend that Draken doesn't join the hunt. And then choice number one, humans are arrogant and prideful. Choice number one, answer honestly. Choice number one, defend Iris. Choice number one, do as Leisha says. Choice number one, I was responsible for tracking. Choice number one, visit the library. Choice number one, definitely, and that's going to unlock you the Mankind's Dark Side achievement as well as the Rehab achievement.
Choice number one, ask Joru about her experience. And then next up, we're going to make a save in slot number 10. And then we're going to choose choice number two, I really was just sleeping. And that should unlock you the white lie achievement. Choice number one, follow Mira. Choice number one, confess, and that should unlock you the an unlikely love achievement. And next up, we're going to make a save in slot number 11. And then we're going to choose choice number three, I'll take care of Joru. And that should unlock you the road to recovery achievement. And uh, then from there, you can press continue. And then once you get the achievement, you can reload save number 10. And this time we're going to choose choice number one, I've been avoiding you. And that's going to unlock you the ice woman achievement. And then once you get that, you can load up save number 11. And this time we're going to choose choice number one, Joru should be free. And that should unlock you the Joanne achievement. And then from there, again, you can reload save number 11. And this time we're going to choose... Choice number two, Joru must remain underground, and that's going to unlock you the committed achievement. And that should actually be your full completion, so apologies for the uh, slightly stuffy nose throughout the entire video, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.